James with the OneHourSmartHome.com here and today we're going to answer one of the questions that many of you have regarding furnaces and thermostats. What do all of the wires mean? Okay, so we're going to go through a typical setup here. This could either be in your thermostat or this could actually be the terminal block inside of your furnace. They both match up, so your terminal block will connect via a wire to your thermostat, and that is how your furnace or HVAC system is controlled. So the Y1 wire is typically stage one cooling, okay? If you don't have two stage cooling, this may just be a Y wire or a Y symbol. Now for more advanced and newer furnaces and HVAC systems, a lot of them are going to have stage one and stage two cooling. So you have a Y1 and a Y2. And all that is, is basically think of it as like a second gear in your furnace, just like you have in a car, second gear to make it go faster. The stage two cooling just ramps up the speed of your cooling. It's going to deliver you more cold air quicker. So now we're on to the W's. Y is cooling. W is heat. Now the same concept applies for W1 and W2. W1 is stage one heat, so that's a low heat setting, the most energy efficient. Now when you're calling for a lot of heat, your thermostat really needs to ramp it up with the amount of heat that you're providing on a cold day, then it's gonna call for stage two heat, and that's what your W2 wire is. So you may have a W1 wire and a W2 wire, or you could just have a W1 wire or a W wire, which means you just have one stage heat. But if you've got two of these wires, a W1 and a W2, it means that you've got stage two heat, one and two. It just means more flexibility for heating and cooling. C wire, the common wire. Now, what is this? If you're familiar with electrical terminology and electrical wiring, a C wire is essentially a neutral wire. It is not always required, but many new smart thermostats do require a C wire. Why? Because a C wire is a neutral wire. It allows power from the R wire to flow through your smart thermostat and back down into the C wire, the neutral wire, to complete a circuit. Why do you need that? Well, because a C wire and an R wire allow the circuit to be completed so that your thermostat can connect to Wi-Fi it can display its nice, beautiful display that uses a lot of power without triggering any one of these other stages of heating or cooling to complete the circuit. So what this allows is a continuous circuit to your thermostat from the R wire to the C wire and allows it to be powered without triggering any of these other things. Because normally when you're turning on the heat, what happens is you've got current going from your red wire, R wire, to your Y1 or to your W1 wire. And basically what happens is the electrons flow through here, R, to your thermostat, and then from your thermostat to the W1 wire. And then the W1 wire triggers the control board inside of the furnace to turn on or off the heat which obviously when you've got this connection completed, your thermostat is going to have power. But smart thermostats use a lot more power today than the old style thermostats that were powered by batteries because Wi-Fi requires a lot of power to be able to be connected 100% of the time so that you can check your thermostat from anywhere on your phone or control it with Alexa. Hence the reason many smart thermostats need a common wire. So. You've got your common wire, and the next thing that you have is a fan wire, G. So the G wire is for your fan, and basically what that allows you to do is control the fan inside your HVAC system independently without any heating or cooling. So if you just want to blow air around in your house in those moderate times of the year, you can absolutely do that with the G wire. Now last but not least, let's not forget the R wire, the power wire. This R terminal and wire inside the furnace is providing the power that it is used to make any of these other connections. So power goes out from the R wire up to your thermostat. And depending on what you have your thermostat set to, 
We'll either then go back down to the W1 wire for stage one heat. If you want more heat, it'll go down to the W2 wire for stage two heat. And if you want cooling, that power will go down to the Y1 wire and it will give you cooling. And if you want lots of cooling, it'll go down to the Y2 wire and give you the most cooling possible. So we hope you enjoyed this. If you've got any questions on thermostat terminals, this is for your standard HVAC system that the majority of people have. If you have a heat pump, you probably have an OB terminal, which is a reversing valve. And then this wiring is not exactly the same, but a majority of the wiring conventions will still be very similar with a heat pump, depending on your system. Thank you very much. Visit us at onehoursmarthome.com for more information on smart home technology. And if you want our smart home light switches that work with Amazon, Alexa, or Google Home, you can find them in the link below. Thank you, Alexa. Alexa off. Thank you, and we will see you again.